is Samantha Jean. I graduated 2021 and I was in the biology program here at Stockton. And so this school offered free parking, they offered free Wi-Fi. Um, it was smaller, so I don't know, I just felt like we're safe too in the area. Industry. Right now I work in pharmaceuticals. I'm a microbiologist at Johnson Johnson and Raritan. So I like that field. So I want to continue and do research. I'm specifically interested in the immunology part of it. Um, my team and I, we focus on CAR T cells, like uh, cancer therapy for patients with multiple myeloma. So I want to expand on that. Um, there's a lot of questions that I have and sometimes there's not research that can give you the full answer. So I'm like, okay, I guess I can contribute to it and see if I can answer those questions myself. I also want to contribute. I want to give back. And I feel like the best way I can give back is through science. And so Stockton accepted me as um, undeclared, undecided because my SAT and ACT scores were not high enough to get admitted into their biology program. So I took like remedial courses for the first year. And then once I proved myself with my grades um, in those remedial courses, then I was able to join the biology program here. So I had to go in as a contractor, which is being paid hourly instead of salary and you don't get any benefits. I figured, okay, I'm 21, 22, like I can, you know, I can handle that. I don't need the benefits that much. I'll survive. Um, so that was hard doing that for two years, basically. Um, so with that experience, being a contractor, I was able to now become a full-time employee. And that's how I got my foot in the door. So j, j has a reimbursement program where if you get more like higher than a B minus, they will reimburse those courses. And so, you know, if I'm taking courses that is going to benefit them, they'd be more than happy to reimburse. So that's why they're so flexible. And I'm really good about pharmaceutical companies, not just J&J. &J. Like I also worked at Bristol Myers Squibb before and they have a similar program where if you've been full-time for let's say 18 months, I believe their program was, they will reimburse your tuition too, as long as your scores are above a B minus. And it's uh, like, it can be used towards um, your department. Like it'll benefit your department competitive when it comes to pharmaceuticals and you don't have experience you're just now graduating college because even though they say oh recent grads apply they're more so going to give that position to the person that does have experience over the person that doesn't have the experience that's just how the game works so that's what made the um, the field so competitive when trying to apply and I had to just go in as a contractor and you know not get the benefits in the beginning but it would all pay off afterwards and I become full-time based on um, my work ethics and my performance they could see okay she's reliable we can give her the position I just didn't expect the school to have that many resources like for example the food pantry um, my junior year and senior year, I was struggling financially, even though I had the two jobs, but because of COVID, I didn't go in as much when it came to the group home because I didn't want to get sick. Um, the food pantry supplied with um, hygiene products, bowls, Tupperware, uh, cooking appliances. It, it was more than just food. You know what I mean? And in a time of need, I took advantage of that. And then they also offered like meal vouchers for the cafeteria, offer like coats to students in need or like um, anything you need off campus or anything you need that the food pantry can't provide, they would step in. I also have a program where um, like there's scholarships of when people donate to the school, they can give you like a little $200 based on your need, you know, a little $100 a semester based on your needs. And that, that was a big help. So um, to get help from the therapists and the psychiatrists on campus, I'm really thankful for that because those programs helped me come out of my deep depression and continue and graduate on time and finish. Um, here, the support system was very good. 
specifically the microbiology team, we are responsible for testing the products and making sure they're not contaminated. We're responsible for testing the operators that work on the product and making sure they're as clean as possible. The cancer patient, um, this is their last step. Like they already did chemo, they already did everything and this is the last thing they can possibly do. And so they give their um, blood samples to us and we take the T cells. Now the T cells out of their blood samples, we modify them. We kind of like, we engineer them so that they're strong because the patient's T cells on their own cannot fight multiple myeloma. They cannot fight cancer on their own. So us modifying those T cells, um, when the T cells see cancer, they can attack it. So it's not necessarily a cure, it's a treatment, but it's the closest thing to a cure. Definitely networking. I made a LinkedIn um, when I graduated um, college and that was probably the best decision because that's how I got in touch with these recruiters. That's how I was able to figure out what SpectraForce is, what Alku um, staffing agency is. Again, I never heard of these um, companies and um, you know, like when they have the career fair, like I never seen those companies. So it was good to get that kind of exposure and, and talk on the phone and have these team meetings or Zoom meetings um, with these other companies because that is how I was able to help my other friends that graduated college. That's how I was able to put them on. I'm like, you need to make a LinkedIn and you need to you know, put all your skills and where you went to school and stuff like that, advertise yourself. I'm on LinkedIn, Samantha B. Jean, because there's several Samantha Jeans on there. So I put my initial in there so you can see the difference, Samantha B. Jean. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that current students may have or other alumni, whatever it is, because the field is very competitive.